Top first, Radke in trouble. Bases loaded, two outs. David Justice. And Corey Koski is there. Radke out of the jam. Radke going for his 100th career when he retired 15 of 16 at one point. Bottom first, Koski. Deep to right center for the baggie. It stays in for a double. It scores Jock Jones, and the Twins are up 1-0. But, you know, the A's have come back plenty of times during this streak, Kenny. That's right. You don't know to what degree Steve helped save the show just now. Top of third, Scott Hatterberg caulking that to center. Torrey Hunter, remember the All-Star game? That was held in Milwaukee. Anyway, double for Hatterberg. Didn't catch that. We look again to see how Czechoslovakian women feel about the play, and they like it. Later in the inning, Eric Chavez gets Radke two on, driving it. Right field, you be the judge. Now, you have nothing to do with it. You have no part in the call. It's foul, it's a strike. Same at bat, and Radke after Chavez. He's chopping broccoli. Out of the inning goes Radke, so he's escaped again. Now third, bottom up. Luis Rivas leading off the inning. Up the middle, Terrence Long should have this, but he didn't. It's gonna be a triple for Rivas, because he's pretty fast. He would not steal home. But he would score on Christian Guzman, fielder's choice. Corey Koski having a big night, leading off the Minnesota sixth. To left center, this off Lytle, a solo shot, his 11th. Koski three for three. His Lytle is touched for five runs on eight hits and six and two thirds. Three nothing twins. And that guy's fired up, even for a Minnesota. Bottom seven runner on second, Jack Jones to short to hot of the throw. Not in time. Hatterberg bobbles it. And Prasinski hustling in from second is safe. Art, how are your thoughts? Art gets out there. It appears to hottest throw to first is in time. And this is huge because it would have ended the inning. Nice scoop by Hatterberg, but then he drops it. And great hustle here by Prasinski as he beats the tag by Ramon Hernandez. And that would be it for Corey Lytle as they went to the ninth inning. Yeah, let's go to the ninth inning together here. These hankies are quite powerful, especially when weighed by Minnesotans. Two out in the ninth, Radke to complete it. Little pop fly. Mikhevich calls it, makes the catch. The streak is over. Brian Radke with a shutout for career win number 100. So the A's fall shy of matching the 1880 and 1935 Cubs for baseball's second longest winning streak at 21. The longest winning streak, by the way, in Major League history, John McGraw's 1916 New York baseball Giants who won 26 in a row. I've been trying to get him into his Amway group. Bottom of four, two out. Bernie Williams, look what he did. Off Redmond's glove, single Bernie, two on. Next batter, Jorge Posada. What a Bodie. Run scoring double. Game is tied at one. That's double number 36 for Posada. New Yankee record as a catcher. A four catcher, I should say. Top of five, two out, one on. David Wells putting people away. Wells cruising the rest of the night. Transition, fifth inning. Bottom of five. I like to say that just to know I'm staying up with the highlights. One, one tie. Redmond falling apart, two out. Afonso Soriano. What a physical. Rondell White going to second, two on. Next batter, Derek Jeter. Run scoring single. White scores. It's 2-1 Yanks. And then Jason Giambi golfs that. Soriano scores. And your score is 3-1. Single up the middle. Jeter scoring 4-1. Bernie Williams put him on him. And then Jorge Posada. Bernie was scoring a throwing here at 6-1. Redmond out. Now pitching Adam Bernaro. Raul Mondesi singles. Posada scores at 7-1. Tigers are sad. Rob Fix mad. 7-7-1 seven, seven, Yanks. Giambi. Yachty! Solo dog. 35th for him. Not in this game. That would be a record. Yankees win 8-1. All right, so now we're obligated to check in on the Red Sox. Take it on the Jays at Fenway. And Boston has a lot of good players. But the guy who could be the X factor in the playoff race, Benny Agbayani. His Red Sox debut called up from Pawtucket on Tuesday, and Benny came up big. Top three Sox down, one nothing. Tim Wakefield against Carlos Delgado. Agbayani to get Eric Hinsky a strike to Doug Mirabelli. Wakefield allowed just one run on five hits in seven, struck out a season high eight. Bottom four, it's Benny facing Roy Halladay. Benny Agbayani. Throw home is off to get Nomad Garcia Para. Agbayani, Ribby single, ties it at one. Benny, how could the Rockies let him go? Sox up 4-1 in the fifth, Cliff Floyd. We've got some issues here. That looks like a strike. And that's what umpire Angel Hernandez calls, and Cliff Floyd disagrees. And so Floyd steps out. Watch out here. Floyd steps out. Hernandez does not call time. Steps out of the box. Still no time. Halliday does not. That's a block right there. 
That's a balk. That's what Grady Little is saying. Or at least mumbling. Next pitch, Floyd would strike out. He got tossed. Next batter, it's our man, Benny. Runners on second and third. Two runs come in. Ekbayani, two for four, drove in three. The Red Sox win 7-2 as Wakefield wins for the fourth time in five starts. For Kirk Reeder against Felix Jose. And he's just looking at that. Bottom of four, no score. Miguel Batista. And the throw to Barry Bond. Conks it off his foot, his right foot. Gets some mature chrome for that, and he's going to be fine. Same with bat. Over to right. Diamondbacks have that shift on. Works to perfection there. Putting Barry Bonds away. Sixth inning, no score two on. Jeff Kent against Batista. He pops that thing way up high. It'll fall into a mitt. Two out. And Barry Bonds is up next. Remember, he has fouled it off his foot. First pitch. Outside corner, that's a strike. Exact location, Judd on the call. Third pitch, low. We'll chart every pitch. Fourth pitch, low. Ball two, two and two. How about a bit high for ball three? Now three and two. Gonna talk some strategy. Sixth pitch, it's 87 miles per hour. We counted Bonds popping up to third. Batista winning that at bat against Barry Bonds. Eighth inning, still no score. Mike Manting against David Bell to right. Felix Jose, extra special catch. Ninth inning, not a score. Some people were hoping for a score. They're going to walk Barry Bonds. They tried to do that. The next batter is Reggie Sant. You will pay for your transgressions. To right, Jose can't get it. Top Goodwin come to score the pinch runner. Giants win it. 1-0, they do win. The players are game. And Dale Nomo and Kirk Sarlis. Astros and Dodgers, here comes the pennant race. Down the stretch they come. See Down the stretch they come. Toss salad. Loses by a nose to rings and things. Top three, Lance Bartman. To the right field, Bleachers is 38th. Two nothing Astros. And off of Deonoma. Bottom six, LA down 2-1. Dave Roberts the bunt. And watch him avoid the tag here by Jeff Bagwell. Roberts safe at first, says umpire Dale Scott. And the Astros cannot believe the call. And they may have a point. Check it out, Roberts, not only about 20 feet out of the baseline. Well, it's a slight exaggeration. And then he totally misses the base. He still hasn't touched the plate. Jimmy Williams with only one M comes out and argues and gets ejected. Jimmy, they miss you in Boston already. Same inning, Brian Jordan facing Ricky Stone. The base is loaded. Dave Roberts comes in. Paul LaDuca thrown out by Brian Hunter with a strike to the plate. But the game is tied at two. Top seven, Berkman. Check swing, grounds into a double play, but Mark Gressolotic. Mark, you got to at least get near the bag for Close the double the play. play. First was the yeah. <laughs> Little, you know, they give you the neighborhood play sometimes, but that you got to get a little closer than that. Same inning, Orlando Merced with a load, and this time Chris Alana comes up with a diving stop for the 4 6 3. Bottom eight, Eric Harris. This off Octavio Deltel, runners on the corners. The sack fly will deliver Sean Green. It's 3 2 LA. Deltel allowing his first run in his last 14 appearances. Top nine. Astros trying to come back. A guy on the first two outs for Berkman. And Eric Gagne gets him to fly out to center to end it. And there it is. The Dodgers hold on and win the game 3-2. Anaheim four up on Seattle for the AL wild card as the Angels open a three-game set in Baltimore. Top two, this is Adam Kennedy. And that's a home run off rookie Sean Douglas is sixth. Ties it at two. Douglas tagged for four runs on six hits and six walks in five innings. Top five, Garrett Anderson. To deep center is 24th and third homer in two games. It's 4-2 Anaheim. But hey, it's September, so got a lot of guys we called up. The bullpen a little crowded. First guy in, let's give him all a shot. Steve Beckler in his major league and sports center debut. Walks David Eckstein to lead off the eighth. Mari Cargrove comes out and says thanks for playing. Next guy, B.J. Ryan, third man he faces is Anderson. They intentionally walk in to load the bases, and that's it for Ryan. So bring in Willis Roberts. He's got a little more experience. He gets one out, and then he faces Brad Fulmer, and Fulmer knocks it into right. Next time comes in, so does Darren Erstad. They wave him as well. The Angels win the game 6-3. They've won eight in a row for a club record 32 games over 500. Mariners chasing those people against the Royals here. Each row's over at first, and he's racing. 
Brett Main, no relation to Buddy Epson, off target, each row to third. Air number one for Kansas City, Jose Offerman the plate, 2-1 the Mariners lead. Off the glove, Luis Ordaz, that's another air. Offerman takes first, second air of the game for the Royals. Seattle's up 5-2 to two here in the fifth. Brett Boone, shot up the right field line. Edgar Martinez, what a physical. Boone, two for three, three RBI. Mike Cameron against Chris Wilson, chopper. Throwing to first, newbie, a little high. Olerud and Boone score. That's the third Royals there. Mariners out front now, eight to two. Sixth inning. Is it sixth inning? In the sixth inning, Seattle's up 11 to four. Boone against Wilson to short. Angel Barral bobbles. Overthrows Sweeney, two airs for him. Another Seattle run scores, five airs for the Royals. Mariners win 14-7. And these are the statistics. Don't walk on the set. We're in a wide shot. Stop that. Mets and Phillies at Gardo Alfonso talking about the contract extension he was offered in spring training. Said, I don't know if they appreciate me. He went on to say, if they really appreciate what I've been doing for this team, they'll do something. We assume he wants more money. Phillies up 2-0 in the fourth. Tomas Perez to third. And there's Fonzie making his case. Mets down 2-1 in the sixth. Alfonso. Pass Placido Polanco for the single. That'll bring up Jeremy Burnett, who's hitting 208. But it's a robust 208. Three-run shot off Brett Myers is 15th and second in two games. Mets win 7-2 behind Al Leiter. They won four in a row, people. All right, then Expos and Braves. Turner Field, home of the Braves. Now, before play on Friday, Atlanta leading Arizona two games in the race for home field in the playoffs. There it is, backed up statistically. Kevin Millwood, 13-1 in his last 20 starts, but he doesn't get a full screen. Fernando Tatis. Wiffle ball, it curves. Two two, Andy Chavez is up. Uh, he puts it down the line. Chipper Jones, restaurant quality play. Millwood getting some help behind him. The fans so darn happy to see Gary Sheffield back after missing nine games. Braves just 13 and 10 without him. Chef drops the single to left. Marcus Giles coming. The Sheffield's wife just had a baby boy. Everybody healthy Thursday. One nothing Braves. First and third, Millwood's up to bat. Blast that to the right center gap. Vinny Castilla, Henry Blanco come to score. And Rena Millwood, Kevin's wife, celebrating. She's proud, 4-0 Braves. Ninth inning, Michael Barrett facing Millwood. He's out. Kevin Jr. enjoying the 5-0 win. She had a baby during the game. Cubs against the Cardinals. Andy Bennis getting set for a matchup against his brother, Alan. Alan Bennis looking focused. Let's go back to August 29, 1996. Last time two brothers faced each other, Ramon Martinez with the Dodgers against his brother, Pedro, then with the Expo. Flashback. Bottom of third, no score. Andy Bennis leading off against his brother, Alan. This is real time now. Andy ripping a single to left off the kid brother. Greg Maddox hit off of Mike Maddox. That was the last brother-to-brother -brother deal with the hit. That was way back in 1988. Those brothers were representing. Two batters later, runner at second, third. Eli Marrero, single. Andy Bennis scoring from third. Cards up one nothing. Still bottom of three. How am I doing on this one? You're right Andy with it. Andy Bennis up again. Cards up 5 0. Andy Bennis, the single. Off the brother again. Tino, what's he doing to the brother? Cards up 6 0. That's it for the brother. He's out. Alan Bennis goes only two and two thirds. Another case of the man holding him down. Cars get 11 runs in that third inning. Runner first, six inning. Cars up 11. Tina Martinez against Pat Mahomes. Look at that crazy play. Whatever happened, happened. You have to decide for yourself whether it was a good play or a bad play. Oh, we're going to show you again. Now you can figure out what did happen. He threw his entire mitt at him. Then he threw luggage at him after the game. And it's a wild thing. Top of the night, two out. Cars up 11 to two. And Choi. Line out to Von Cruz at first. Let's just tell you the cards won 11 to 2. I'm exhausted after that. Reds in Milwaukee trying to snap a three game losing streak. 3 3 in the 12th. Barry Larkin off Mike DeJean, and that'll deliver Aaron Boone from third. DeJean drops to 1 and 5. And the Reds win the game 5 3 since he's 7 0 this season in Milwaukee. But Friday, his team carrying him. Rodriguez fouling out. Jared Sandberg. Sandberg's fallen. He will get up. A Rod crestfallen with his teammates. Rafi Palmero, next batter, singles to center. Mike Lamb, he's going to score. Palmero to second, 92nd RBI of the season. It's 1 0. 
Yes, it is. This is earlier, but we're emphasizing that he didn't have a great game, Alec. He really is Chris Fulmer. Rangers have hit homers in 23 straight going in. Now it's 24. That's like almost a record. 9-3. Rangers win it 9-3. It's okay. He has 50 homers. Indians White Sox. Not going to stop this show without showing you the Indians and the White Sox. Lee Stevens replacing Jim Tomey in the lineup. Steven cocks that over some fencing that had been set up before the game. Mark Burley set up the big play to meet. Indians go up 1-0. Burley trying to become the first White Sox left-hander to win 18 games in one season in 17 years. Who didn't know that? Lee Stevens up again. Two on. Steven over a fence. Fourth homer as an Indian. Six RBI ties a career high. Indians go up 7-4. Burley is terribly displeased about this whole thing. Indians win it 9-7. Padres Rockies, that's Aaron Cook going for his first major league win. Top three, Rockies up 1-0. Davey Cruz up the middle. Juan Uribe. That's defensive support. Watch the replay of Juan Uribe. This will be a Uribe replay as he snares it, spins, plants, and throws. Nice analysis by me. Bottom four, Adam Eaton facing Uribe. Deep to left is six, and the Rockies win 7-3, so Cook wins in his third Major League start. Happy 43rd birthday, Dan O'Dell. Marlins and Pirates, first to three at PNC. Bottom five, Michael Tejera facing Jack Wilson. Pirates 0 for 24 with runners in scoring position, but with two on, Wilson ends the drought. A three-run shot is fourth. He had a career-high four RBI. It's 5 nothing. 11 up to Pittsburgh in the ninth. Brian Banks, last shot for the Marlins. Adam Heisdu with a great catch. Pirates win 11-0 behind Chris Benson, who's 7-2 in his last 14 starts.